I have a selection of uh, jerk pebbles. They come in different sizes and configurations, and it has an influence on your size and configuration of the uh, core. Uh, some cores are even uh, made uh, from uh, flakes, percussion flakes. It's a, a very efficient uh, means of uh, uh, getting a lot of cutting edge from a small piece of uh, stone. Uh, I have with me uh, a core. There's still a lot of usable um, blade material in, in it. All this, uh, these flakes and uh, core preparation debitage came from this one piece. I've selected a piece of uh, a heat treated cat head shirt from uh, Manitoba, and I'm going to try and uh, draw flakes, uh, microblades from from it. Essentially, there's a uh, I've uh, made a uh, ridge, one ridge here, and another ridge here by striking off uh, flakes with a small pebble and uh, refining the uh, ridge with a pressure flaker. The uh, platform again. Uh, uh, has to be less than uh, 90 degrees here. In this case, it's about uh, 80, between 75 and 80 degrees. The uh, first flakes uh, to be uh, removed are called ridge flakes. They are triangular in cross-section. Oh, I should mention my tools is uh, padding for my left hand padding to hold the uh, little pressure flake green. The pressure, uh, these pressure flakers might, can be even smaller. And I do have microblades that I removed with a pressure flaker this size. And you can see the length of these uh, blades. And sometimes I prefer a uh, pressure flaker that's a little bit curved so I uh, can uh, direct the force into the core and along the length. So it uh, produces a uh, flatter microblade. And all the material I use for microblades is heat treated. Uh, heat treatment, uh, I find the is works uh, good if you're using any kind of pressure flaking technology, whether it's a direct hand pressure or uh, like I uh, showed earlier with a uh, uh, assisted uh, uh, pressure flaking. Here's a uh, obsidian microwave cord. It's quite uh, it's almost uh, seven centimeters long, and. Uh, to me, uh, the uh, distinction between micro and macro blades is more uh, on the basis of uh, technology. Uh, macro blades are uh, uh, blades that are removed either by um, direct percussion or some sort of assisted pressure. And uh, uh, micro blades are um, uh, detached uh, by simple uh, uh, hand uh, held pressure. My objective is to remove a blade the length of the uh, core. I don't think I. I have a different holding technique than uh, Jason. I tend to use some short pressure flakers. And uh, by this way, I, it gives me quite a good. Uh, grasp of the instrument and also control of the direction that I'm forcing the uh, pressure. Oh, this one, the material, it's one of the poor grades of a uh, cat head shirt it tends to fracture badly. So what I'll do is uh, switch to uh, something that's more predictable. Like 
This here is another piece of catholic church, which is higher quality. This uh, church comes from uh, West Central Manitoba, uh, outcrops in uh, the Interlake area. And uh, one problem is it occurs in places where there are, are no known microblade uh, sites. But Um, <laughs> have to just oh, that's a change. I have to switch again because there is a, a gray and a white shirt. Either I remove this part, uh, the gray part, which is softer, and uh, work on the white, or else I switch to still a different material. <laughs> Obsidian. Hmm. Oh, if you apply too much pressure, you tend to destroy the blade. And I've, uh, that's what I've done here. This is unusual. And it's worth other flaking uh, means. You create an overhang, a negative bulb, and which has to be removed before you try and detach more blades. Oh, this one broke midway, but I've succeeded in removing a fairly lengthy blade. If I refit it, it's quite narrow. You can uh, the uh, width of the microblade depends on the uh, uh, stage of reduction, the uh, circumference of the core, and. Uh, your pressure flaker. So some of the blades I've uh, removed are, you know, uh, in excess of a centimeter. Some are, if you try and go for um, uh, narrow ones like this, they tend to break. <laughs> 